Arizona and Adia Barnes team. But they have got their defensive system down, and it creates so many opportunities. We'll see if they can do that again today. USC gets the tip. You mentioned the three freshmen for Arizona and then three graduate student transfers from the Ivy League for USC. The takeaway, Martinez, and they're going to call a travel. So the defense for USC getting back. They give it up, but then they force the turnover with the defense able to get back. Taking care of the ball, the top emphasis for any team that plays Arizona, but especially what Lindsey Gottlieb told us. And it's the first thing out of every coach's mouth, <laughs> composure. They want to be aggressive. They want to get to the free throw line, does USC. Playoff Play starts on Watkins. Almost another turn for the Trojans. Aggressive drive and just waiting on the other side. What did the D give you? They gave her Rhea Marshall. She has been so fun to watch this entire season. She was the number one recruit, and she showed us why. Double dribble. Yep. 222 career blocks at USC. Well, last year, a finalist for Defensive Player of the Year. Yeah. In the top three. In fact, 12 honor will mention this year. You can see the hard traps coming at, at Juju. That's the big focus for Arizona. Make it difficult for Juju Watkins. But can others get it done? And Padilla says, I will take it. Cueo and in the high post, Cunningham no good. They are just inviting Cunningham to take that shot. Hesitation on the dribble for Juju Watkins and she's going to go to the free throw line. You said it, smart decision making, just those, those little things that make a difference to get you to the line as opposed to... She came in, every high school accolade you could think of gets the free throws. So she averages eight free throw attempts per game. So if you go eight for eight, you start the game with eight points on the board. That's the impact she has. Yep, averaging 28 points per game overall, second in the nation behind Caitlin Clark. As you can see the emotion from Rhea Marshall with the block on Brea Cunningham. That's her specialty. And then the drive, defense to offense. They have completely elevated her basketball IQ in a big way. Not just basketball, though. They were talking about the stock market around her when she was just hanging out with them on a walk. And she said, what are you guys talking about? Juju really admires the fact that they have ventures outside of basketball going on, too. I think the thing that's important to keep in mind about these three graduate transfers is they came to USC for a reason and a purpose, to go to graduate school, to better their lives and just take that degree that they got in the Ivy Leagues and do better at USC and to be part of this basketball program. But they're adults. They know who they are. They're not trying to figure things out like we all were. She's had some big games. Transfer from West Virginia this year for Arizona. Martinez squares it up. And just missing. USC wants to push this tempo. The transition D there for the Wildcats. Feel the double comp from Bay. Marshall keeps it up high. Great pass from Forbes. Pass it out of the double. Find the open player. And selfish. Marshall with four points. Leo trying to shake Watkins. Gets the shot to rattle in. First points of the game for Arizona after USC goes up 13-0. Arizona can get them going. Yeah, I mean, they thrive on chaos. They have not been able to create any chaos. The chaos has been created by Juju Watkins and these Trojans. Banks it up. Some contact holding her head. She's going to have bodies come at her. Defense, hands up, almost a takeaway. Blakely able to get it back. She was trying to find Bay and she was open. Marshall put those outreached hands up. If Juju Watkins is on the bench, you must take advantage of those minutes and put some points on the board and shut down the Trojans so you can play a little catch-up. Gets them both. She had 14 in the win last night against Washington, and here's that full-court pressure from the Wildcats. And the trap up high. Trying to save it was Forbes, and instead the turnover, Arizona trying to push. Bay. <laughs> Ray and Marshall. Ray and Marshall diving in. 
Bray and Marshall's trying to make a point. I'm not an all Pac-12 player. Are you kidding me? Have you seen me play defense? Have you seen my double doubles? Bray and Marshall says, rejection. And I'm going to go get it. Not afraid to dive to the hardwood, all 6-4 of her. And now Arizona with the trap, forcing the turnover. Pueyo trying to get away from Marshall. Good job by Marshall to get back and stop the break. How about the job by Bigby as well? She put yeah. her track shoes on. Sure did. Kayla, Kayla Williams. Williams. Yeah, so impressed by the way she played last weekend in the Arizona game. 25 minutes in that double OT. Yeah, so nice to have players like her coming in. Much needed three ball for Arizona, and they cut the lead for USC to eight. Five points for Playo, and the pressure continues. Watkins, high hedge from Bay. Oh, and right through. Big B off the bench, banging something. Try and skip down the bay. Here's Cunningham. Shot clock to five. Cuello in the bay. Oh, but a travel. And a half left. First quarter. Seven turns already for USC as Watkins gets clipped from behind. It's kind of a soccer move. It really was. Watkins, long stride, banks it up good. Defense was there, but that was a tough shot. She finishes already 10 points. You know what a great defender Cuello is, but my goodness, Juju Watkins is having her way. Yeah. She's working every move. The and one for Cunningham. Cunningham, a freshman team member this year to the Pac-12. Can't get the three-point play. Bay knocked to the court. This first quarter winds down. Jada Williams now out on Watkins. Gonna call a hand check up high. Blakely steps off. 7.8 left in the first. Davis got away from Bay. Help D was there. Arizona a chance. And USC not going to let it happen. That's the end of the first quarter. Yeah, and Arizona, a team that averages 70 points a game. They shoot 44% from the floor coming into this one. Right now, 20%. USC's trying to match the defense that we talk about so often about with Arizona, and they certainly have done just that. I mean, the stunning number is USC has turned it over eight times in the first quarter, yeah. but Arizona has just turned that into three points. Yeah. You're right, not taking advantage of those opportunities you work so hard to make it happen and then you don't convert it so you think you turn it around here Isis Bay gets to start this quarter a little bigger she and Cunningham inside Martinez is out on the perimeter Cunningham ball fake puts it up much better execution taking it at Rhea Marshall Cunningham has just continued to improve in the last two or three weeks we've seen that Gives it up. Marshall not going to get the shot off. Wildcats do something with it. Martinez to Cunningham on the left side as Marshall swaps it out. Even on a national scale is just as dynamic inside with the shot block. There's no doubt about it as Playo gets the right baseline jumper to go. And, and there's a takeaway. Double team up high. Three on one. Cunningham drives it up good. Double team again out on Watkins. Padilla had a go from look. Marshall, second chance, and she'll go to the line. One of the areas that Rhea Marshall has improved so much is her assist to turnover ratio. You make great decisions, and you're not giving it away as a big. One for two for Marshall. Williams has really struggled to score over the last two games. Just two points in the past two. She needs to be an offensive factor, as does Skylar Jones. Pretty finish for Jones, the lefty. Her first points of the game. And full court pressure and another turn from USC. Dia Barnes with the play call. And they'll give it to Playo up high. Twelve turnovers already for the Trojans. Just four for Arizona. Two 
defense have helped trap the rotation has just been spectacular for a team that does not have a lot of depth. Williams said, you step on my foot. No whistle. They play on. They get the long rebound and just miss. You can see where Cunningham did not want to challenge. <laughs> nice job by Pueo. The hustle from Pueo. Not giving That's up. how she coaches this team. It's the effort that she said she's so enjoying this group because they, they've been through some adversity. They've lost some players. But the players that she has, they are working so hard. And she's loving the effort and what they've been doing. Watkins with the spin move, Playo. So USC just one point this quarter. Alyssa Charleston, you were in their huddle. What did you hear? Yeah, well, Mary talked about the run that Arizona has gone on to catch up. And in the huddle, Lindsey Gottlieb really focused on that press break and saying we need to move the ball without the dribble. I don't want any random ball screens because that brings another defender. And Arizona <laughs> yeah. really good at doubling off yeah. of those yeah. screens. So use the baseline after makes and spread it out so you can get the ball and then your teammates don't leave your teammates hanging come back to the ball and the other thing was we're not boxing out right now and that's why arizona has a few offensive rebounds all right thank you Alyssa. yeah a good point from the head coach no doubt backdoor cut and selfish working it around the extra pass watkins left wing off the back of the iron another long rebound marshall there big b you can't give her that big B. Kayla Williams. These folks off the bench for USC. They just stay ready. Cunningham. It said just have that patience, little head and shoulder. Create the contact. Yeah, that was something Coach Barnes talked with us about. We barely missed early and you watch know, Arizona as that one rattles in. Over three minutes remaining. In the back. Forbes couldn't finish the rebound. Playo. USC, 20 points in the first quarter. They have five in the second. Just an incredible difference. This board stays right with, or Davis, excuse me, with Martinez. I've seen a lot of hard crashes so far in this tournament. Uh, wow. The outreached arm of Davis. <laughs> to the back of the head for Martinez. Oh. Good to see her back up. And she landed, really couldn't break the fall. Cunningham, left side, finish. It's beautiful. Using the left hand, did all her work early. She has 10 points. Big B. My money's out, Big B. Make that three. She's three for four out there. Miss for the Wildcats. See, pushing the Graham Marshall could not have been any more open. She was in the end zone, oh. just like jumping up and down. That expression on your face, but the finger roll is good and finished for four. Arizona. Chance to cut into the lead. It maybe got tipped a bit and Playo hobbling a bit going over. And that's going to do it for this first half. And that shooting percentage just not their typical. But I do think that the, the length and the presence of Marshall inside as well as Forbes and some of the help defense coming over really caused them some problems. We're underway. Third quarter shot is up, and it's off the mark for Forbes. Isis Bay gets the start this half. Arizona going a little bigger again. There's Martinez. Inside, Cunningham. Help D coming over, and she gets fouled. And challenge Rhea Marshall. See if you can get her into some foul trouble and make makeable shots. Yep, absolutely. She had 10 points last night in the win against Washington as the first free throw. Gets both free throws. She's been working on the free throws. And a spin move, and she clocks Blakely. Here comes Juju Watkins, the spin, and you can see that right arm come yep. around and just official review to see if they were going to elevate this or not. Mary, what'd you find out? So they're going to elevate that to an intentional foul, unnecessary, hard or excessive. Did you season high for turnovers is 10 against Colorado? A lot of people turn the ball over against Colorado. <laughs> yes, they do. And a lot of people turn the ball over against Arizona. Bay trying to get a little more space. I want a challenge. Kicks it out to Playo, and that one's going to 
Day Pop. <laughs> Play the shot clock. Ray Marshall going to help him out. Thank you, Ray Marshall. Just doing a little everything. Oh, oh there. You got it. Ray's like, oh, oh. <laughs> he's like, hey, you're taller than I am. Our officiating crew. That's Kenneth Nash, Benny Luna, and McCole Murray. <laughs> That's pretty. Oh, it sure was. And Marshall gets it to drop. Experience on the floor. And the grad student transferred in from Harvard. That brings a maturity. And one for Jones. <laughs> Boy, these freshmen for Arizona are special. Start three freshmen. This is the free throw, but the long rebound. Bay keeps it alive. Another chance. The experience, the minutes that they have gotten this season, it is building an incredible base for the Wildcats for the future. As Pueo steps up, calm and cool. Ties this up once again. Arizona has not led in this game. We say this for the past five years. Adia Barnes has been begging Pueo to please shoot more. 14 shots in this game. Averaging nine a game. Points that is. That's a beautiful move. Got it back. Tipped out. Couldn't quite finish, but she didn't stop on it. Watkins is going to come in. But a career high for field goal attempts for Pueyo is 15. She has 14 so far in this game. That's <laughs> remarkable. 12 points, and this time Marshall able to finish. She worked hard for that basket. She sure did. Nine points. Head towards another double double. Let's see switching. Jones trying to get some room. Takes her up at the left hand. She uses her body so well. Yeah, she said before, but you can't touch this. <laughs> Six points. Skyler Jones. Her 13th start on the season. Lots of changes. Some players lost over this season for Arizona. They were now up to six players at one time. First shot from Marshall won't go. And wow, Blakely, the afterburner, lays it up good. Marshall didn't know what was coming at her. Had the double team. How about an and one for Marshall with some emotion? Can't get the three point play though. Martinez has been quiet, just four points. Kayla Williams back in for USC. Jones just got that one to drop. Adia is saying, we are turning them over. She was very adamant, kind of hitting her clipboard. We need to get layups. Push the ball up the floor. A few short passes. Don't make it too complicated. Get it up the floor. That's right, Alyssa and Skyler Jones. Mary doing just that. Takes it in. Tries for the layup. Williams, a senior. The lone senior on this USC team. Big B. Marshall, one-on-one. -on -one. Takes it right at Cunningham, but just short. Nice job by Cunningham trying to guard Ray Marshall in space. That's a tough chore. It sure is. Ray Marshall's deceptively quick. Jones on the right side. One of the body bump. And oh, Watkins knocked to the floor. Between the legs, around and out. What a pretty look. Can't get it to drop. Wildcats push. Blakely, so fast. Oh, just short. USC comes down with it. Got Bigby in the corner. She's out ahead of everybody. There's Marshall up the middle. Gets it to go. Yeah, Forbes with her fourth assist on that one. Jones on the left side. Just a little too far out. The defense pushing her that way. Yes, weaving. Gets it inside to Davis, and she gets fouled. Excuse me. For Davis, will fatigue start hitting the Wildcats? Pueyo played 40 minutes last night. 
This is an Arizona team that has seen a lot of minutes in a lot of their games. It's incredible to play at this level the way they have with their defensive effort and a turnover by the Wildcats. Martinez slow to get up. Watkins trying to attack. Can't get the layup. <laughs> Blakely tries to stay the piece. Oh, the takeaway. Oh, what a dish. Juju Watkins. Davis. And USC regains the lead. Defense for USC now creating offense. Almost a steal there with a minute and a half left in the third. Jones. Skyler Jones. Are you a freshman? <laughs> Not anymore. And we know Juju Watkins is it. She has 10 points. And hand check before. They have weathered it. She said this team has just bought in. They've been battling. His first free throw is good. She's been brilliant with her assist, though. Yep. yep. She's finding her teammates, and that's exactly what Lindsay Gottlieb wants her to do, and she's been doing it well. She's going to get double teamed, sometimes triple teamed, and she's been able to find the open players. With Kayla Williams on the floor, USC unleashes a little full-court pressure. Witness of Skyler Jones, Pueyo. Behind the arc, just misses, and Jones, too aggressive that time, the over the back call. <laughs> 16 points for USC this quarter. 17 for Arizona, and now full court pressure continuing for USC. Wildcats break it. Way way. Layup. I thought Preo would have the layup instead skipped it across. And that one misses for Jones. A little too unselfish on that one for Preo. Quick. On quick. Kayla Williams with the bucket. I love Kayla Williams. I just love her attitude this year, staying ready. And boy, the team has needed her down the stretch, and she has delivered. Yep. Just really speaks to her character. First shot attempt tonight, first points of the game. It's a 12 2 run over the last two and a half. Oh, nothing but net. Courtney Blakely now with four. But just two turnovers in the second half. You talk about improvement. Yep. 16 first half turnovers, just two yep. in the second half. Yeah, those are numbers that Lindsey Gottlieb will look at and say, okay, I like the improvement. They got to the free throw line more as well as they're going to call a foul on Arizona on the screen. Kayla Williams gets to start this quarter. Senior from L.A. Marshall double team dishes it down and the kick out outside and it works beautiful basketball they leave Forbes they double down inside a little help rotation they kick it out Great reaction to the basketball they stand up open for a moment and loses it instead you will see good rotation and help defense Oh, Williams. We can get through. The impact of Kayla Williams yep. is palpable. It has not been easy. They knock it off of Jones. Another turn. Watkins and Forbes tag teaming up top. Kayla Williams. This is what she's looking at. The big step through and the floater. An all defensive member last year, honorable mention in the Pac-12, transferred in from UC Irvine a couple seasons ago. Started every game, as you mentioned, last year, yep. and has accepted a different role for this team. Marshall, finger roll, won't go, gets another chance. Does Arizona have anything left in the tank? The push by USC. Alyssa Charleston, you've got more on this defense from USC. Well, that's exactly what Lindsey Gottlieb wanted after the last time out. You saw Juju Watkins completely take away Skylar Jones' left hand. She still tried to go that way, switch up the other way, and then turned it over. And that's the first thing Lindsey Gottlieb said to Alyssa Charleston at half was, we have to stop giving the other team the ball. 
get the second. Watkins with 14 points. So many games. Still hopes of making it. And that is the question. Has Arizona done enough to show the committee that we belong in the NCAA tournament? I really don't think there's a question when they have done what they have in the strongest conference in the country. We talked to Coach Gottlieb for USC, and she said, if Arizona doesn't win this one, I believe they're a tournament team. And just misses Pueyo out running. She's got Jones up ahead. She can kick it up a notch. Get your composure. Finishes with the left hand. And on a game. And now another takeaway. And guess who? Pueyo finds Jones. And the defense right there with her was Forbes. But the finish on the left side, 14 for Jones. Which team will move on to the semifinals? Rhea wants it. Now, Watkins. Juju Watkins has earned everything she's gotten tonight. 14 <laughs> points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. When you play Arizona, nothing yeah. comes easy. And Arizona knew they had to make it tough on her. 1 for 2 from the line for Watkins. Cunningham right at Marshall. Marshall <laughs> standing her ground. Yep, without fouling. She is one special defensive player. Padilla just lurking over here. She can get going from the perimeter. 46% three-point shooter. Watkins using the screen just short. And the Cats out running. Williams with the layup. And it's just a perfect pass, isn't it? You yeah. run that in practice every day. Score without putting it on the floor. Help D. Marshall almost double dribbled. Check out. Cable Williams back in. USC using some block. Oh, oh. Square up and stick it. Let me take some ice water out and put it in my veins. Orbs with eight points out of Folsom, California. Started at Cal. Went to Harvard. Who does that? And then comes back to USC. Pueyo. 16. Ooh, Watkins. Got tripped ball. up. Jones, good composure. Oh, oh. Out to Williams. Sticks it. Where do you see that? At Stanford. Five points for Jada Williams. It's a three-point ball game. Teams have been working hard. Watkins just off to the right. Good box out by Bay. Foul's going to go against Davis. The confidence that she's grown and built over this season. Yeah, no doubt. Arizona, five of their last seven. SC just one of seven. Does Arizona have another miracle in their back pocket? This would be a big one. We're under a minute left. Bay hanging out up high, trying to leave space on the interior. And when she was open for a second, it's batted around. Williams, quick shot. I didn't think she had really had to take it. There was still eight on the shot clock. USC, three point lead. Second differential, Watkins weaves her way in, lays it up good. Gigi Watkins says, let me take a dagger. 14 fouls for USC, but they've got a couple of timeouts. And they've got the five-point lead. They'll take a two or a three. Yep, but just not a lot of time to try to figure it out. Jones got away from the D, got it around. Big rebound for Kayla Williams. I mean, for Lindsey Gottlieb, she said there were so many unknowns coming into the season. It was hard to know how was this team really going to do. Well, they have done very well. And they got a lot more to go. USC preseason pick sixth. A year ago, they were 11-7 and seven in conference play. How quickly Lindsey Gottlieb has 
help this program just turn the corner into national prom. Two possession game. The pass, Pueyo, the screen up high. Hits it. Three point game. Watkins knocked to the floor, thought there was a moving screen. 11 of 14 for Arizona. Oh. Open on the inside. Oh, the perfect play. And KD was open for a long time in there. Couple of great plays on both ends. Yep. Eight points for her. And Williams in the lane. Gets the jumper with point six remaining. And that's going to do it. USC fights off. 